Welcome back. This is Jack. Let's get started. All right, we're on the tail end of that last video. And we are now... Actually, I'm going to be doing a side quest that's actually kind of cool up here. Um, I can't remember what the loot is, nor do I really care. But it actually does a little bit of backstory with the Sun Smashers. And just weird technology in this universe that makes no sense. It's a head. And a jar. Probably not the weirdest thing you've seen today. No Juan, one. do you know this decapitated bandit? Ah, no way! That's my Deputy War Chief Vic! <laughs> She's my best brunette! Grab that head. They must have been interrogating her in BR. You know, we used that same tech back in Hyperion when we caught a corporate spy. Or when someone's broccoli salad got stolen from the break room and I didn't have time to make more. Anyway, Vic's trapped in a virtual torture chamber. You gotta go in and get her out! Exciting. I have never hunted in a head before. Yeah. In case you hadn't figured it out, um, 99.9%. You should be in the VR by the gate to the HPC. Just hook her head up and your echo device will digestruct you right into the VR construct. I'd go in there myself, but, uh, VR stuff totally squicks me out. <laughs> no one's gonna take my body apart molecule by molecule without a fight. I'm an analog man! It makes so many... I'm surprised the COV are using VR tech, but, you know, then again, it's pretty cheap these days. I mean, people make entire worlds in there and just live in them. It's weird, though, you know? Most people just revisit worlds that were made, like, seven years ago. Which is a stab at the company itself. I'll explain that in a second. Let me pick this up. Vaughn, I have discovered a COV statue. Know anything about it? Ugh, the children of the vault have been leaving these suck-butt COV statues all over the place. You know what? We're gonna stick it to those wannabe gods and make our own idols. In my image, yeah, good idea. From chiseled jaw to legendary calves. First off, go find all my wanted posters. P.S. I am very wanted. We're gonna pull this off. We're gonna need those pictures of me to feed into the 3D scanner thing. I'm not doing that quest so you can stop talking. Statues that look like me instead. <laughs> That'll really tick off the calypsos. So, when they when this game I came. Didn't go from After I refused to join that stupid cult, Tyrene Calypso put a bounty on my sculpted ass. And the rest of me, too. But I'm still alive, baby! Are you done? I'm still shaking it, bro! Are you done? Right, can I talk now? Okay. So when this game... Okay, when this game came out, it was seven years after um, the previous game had come out. And just previously, they had released um, Borderlands 2 VR. So they're making fun of themselves, saying... Uh, yeah, people uh, make a VR game dead? to return to a world awesome. they were seven years old. That digital torture room and save her, bro. Uh, Fix somewhere in there. You gotta find her and break her out. Which Take pretty much the exit console inside the construct. That'll rebuild her body in the meat space. I need my best brunette in one meaty piece. Oh, BT Dubs. When they uploaded her, it probably fragmented her recent memories. You're gonna have to try to find them so you can remind her who she is when she wakes up. Once again, always do the side quest. Oh god. Memory that brings bad memories. One. What up, me? Our idiot in chief Vaughn finally made one good decision and made me the new deputy war chief of the Sun Smashers. He took a slap in time replacing deputy head chief after he belly flopped into a freaking acid pit. Man, that dude knew how to party. Vaughn's alright, I guess. But he's no head chief. I have no blood, so I'm taking yours. Which implies that I took my uh, pet monkey into the uh, alternate reality that we are currently in. still targeting me even though I am roughly invisible. Ever stronger. Yes, I am looting in the middle of the fight. Deal with it, deal with it, hashtag deal with it. Go ahead and 
throw him at the badass fanatic. Mm. Helps if you aim in the right spot. There we go. Is that another one? Another one bites the dust. And another one go. And another one go. Another one bites the dust. I don't think the monkey's gonna get me back up, so. Let's see if I can kill this fanatic right there. There we go. Because there is a version of that monkey I think he eventually upgrades to being able to actually reviving you. As long as he can get to you. Mind you, if he kills something while I'm down, it still counts as me doing it, so I get revived. Oh, something purple. Ooh. Ooh, I like it. Uh, in case you're wondering, uh, there's... In the game, there's actually a saying how you can tell the loot uh, quality of something, like its rarity. Um, I think um, from lowest to highest, it's when Grandma burps, Patrick obeys. I'm not joking, they actually tell you that one in Borderlands 2. Uh, basically, uh, white, green, blue, uh, white, green, blue, purple, orange. And then there's like some other random colors that get assorted in there. For like special things like pearlescence thrown in there. I am almost out of ammo. Thankfully I think there's a place to buy ammo just like right around the corner. Did I miss a recording? Because I was too caught up in the murdering of everything? No, 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 there's... No, I must have. Yeah, it's right up here. Because I don't want to miss, miss that. It's actually rather a big deal that I don't. I got too caught up in murdering everything. Ah, oh, there we go. Right on the couch. Memory Fragment 2. Yo, me, check this out. We found this crazy alien thing in the desert today. Brought it back to camp thinking we could sell it to the children of the vaults. Those idiots are always buying crazy alien stuff like that. We're gonna be slapping rich. So if throughout all of this you've been thinking that Vaughn doesn't know what he's doing... Actually, I might be able to upgrade my... What did that just do? Hang on. I'll be I'll be back in a second. Fade no longer affects Flak V at the cost of critical damage and fade away duration. Oh. Um, no. I don't want that. Go away. Um, eh, it's stuck. Eh? I could probably wait to remove it, but I don't care right now. Oh, there's another recording. Memory fragment three. Get this, me. So I showed Vaughn the crazy alien thing, and he got super weird. Told me to hide it. Ugh! The whole clan could eat bark and caviar for months if we sold it to the COV. That sounds disgusting. Now I look like the asshole because I have to tell the clan we're not selling it. Slap an idiot in chief. He doesn't know what's good for the clan. No, he does. He knows what it is. By the way, Varkids are like giant ants. Or no, not giant ants. They're the giant, like... It's hard to explain. Memory this giant insect. Four. It's go time, me. This mouthpiece idiot wants that alien thing, and Vaughn won't sell it. We must be the last clan on Pandora that hasn't joined up with the COV. The Sun Smashers need new leadership. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, that mod is better for when you're doing something that shoots a lot and rapidly. Yeah, where'd she go? Yeah. There we go. People have lasers. Oh, my, my monkey's down. 
Because your monkey can go down, but he doesn't die permanently. Um, he just like respawns after like three minutes. Um, and there's abilities to make it faster. I'd rather avoid that if it's not too inconvenient. There we go. Here she is. Human, I can free you from this mind prison. No, can't leave. He'll twist my arms off again. It hurts so bad. Can you imagine this torture? Back? I don't understand. It's happened like 50 times already. Makes sense. Hands off my captive. No. I don't know what to do. Oh, Let them hear your rage. That one. Oh, I'm out of grenades. That's, that's not good. But I can do this. Did he just say Excelsior? I appreciate that. I really do. May Stanley rest in peace. For those who don't know, which I'm pretty sure almost everyone does, Excelsior was his sign-off when he used to write for the New York... Um, well, when he ever he wrote anything, honestly. Oh, you were behind me. Which actually works to my advantage right now. Yeah, yeah, back up. I don't know why I'm tapping it like it needs to be tapped. I have it set to full auto. I guess more out of reflex. Cool, if I don't have a sniper rifle. You are experiencing both existence and non-existence simultaneously. Do not think about it. Laughing weird. I'm freaking out. You gotta get me out of here. I don't thankfully don't have to escort her. I can just go. That's what I'm gonna do. Because I can cut through here and pretty much beat her back. Ugh. Oh no, I took fall. Wait, no, there's no fall damage. Ugh. Hopefully, I level up from doing this. But um, no, this is actually one of those really cool trippy quests. Was one they, they make fun of themselves. That's part one. But two, just. You'll see what you in a second, like it throws a weird concept at you. Because, um, so Borderlands has some weird technology. Dig Digistruct is one of them. Where something digitally made is made into reality. Uh, that's how the cars appear, Digistruct, and there's some weapons that spawn through Digistruct. Uh, hell, that's how half the chest works. If you notice, they're not there until you open it, and then it spawns. Uh, and it's explained the way through what's called Digistruct. I'm assuming that's short for digital construction. See, I'm actually ahead of her right now. One of the things I should be doing is if you go around this way, you'll find hidden claptraps. Claptrap is trying to build himself a girlfriend, and you're finding all the components. Once you find them all, it, it's really depressing what happens. Slash, it's exactly what you expect to happen with Claptrap. And, um... Yeah. That's one of the several things, your little, little side things that you can do. You get XP, you get some cool loot. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Do I have to just exit? There we go. We everything stopped being blue. Because I'm blue. Ba -ba -dee -ba -ba. Now she's holding her own head. Think about that for a second. Ugh. What a slapping nightmare. Thanks for getting me out of there. He's talking to me. Hey, Vaughn. Look, I'm a slapping idiot. The COV are messed up. We tried joining them, and all they did was murder and torture us. In that order. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to be pretty brutal with you right now, Vic. I'm gonna need you to give me a hundred apology push-ups. When you're done, come join me. We got a new clan now. Go Crimson Raiders. He's joined several times. Yeah, I can dig it. Hey, as long as you're doing the push-ups. Oh, hey. You saved my slap in life. Here. I nabbed this crazy gun while we were in that never-ending digital hell prison. You can have it. It's all yours. Well, this is awkward. Oh, come on. I mean, I always wanted more me time, right? This is perfect. I get to hang with my favorite person. I mean, are you me or am I you? Whoa. Mind? Alone, 
right? And I'm like 80% mind right now. Do I need to like feed you or whatever? I think whatever this stuff I'm floating in is keeping me going. I don't even have a digestive system anymore, but I do have taste buds. How about you just drip some gravy in here for me? You're living the dream. Maybe getting connected to a torture device for a simulated eternity of unspeakable horrors wasn't such a bad deal after all. Yeah, high five. Dude, not cool. <laughs> oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> And this is pretty much summed up, like, the humor and the thought process with Borderlands. Like, they randomly will throw things in there like that where it makes you go, huh. Because technically both are the same Vic. One's just her consciousness made into a physical body, and the other is her original physical body. And arguably, every time you die, you get resurrected as a Digistruck. So which one's the original? Technically, that hasn't happened to me yet. I haven't permanent died yet. I've gone down, I just haven't permanent died yet. Which will be in the next episode, probably. America's a jerk. But, yeah, you know, this is the end of this recording. I just wanted you guys to see that side quest. And I also got a cool sniper rifle out of the deal. Whether or not I can use it yet is up for debate. Because I actually... Ooh, I want to use that. Yeah. I said for Jacob's tend to be one of my favorite weapons, especially when playing this character. Jacob's assault rifles are single shot. Uh, they're semi-automatic. But they do immense damage and ricochet now. So it's kind of cool. If you critical it. Which I tend to with this character. And where is the new one? Oh, here it is. Yeah, does both shield and um, shield and acid damage. So electric and acid damage. You're able to switch between the two, and it's a sniper rifle. Now, mind you, it's not one of the most powerful sniper rifles, but where I'm at, it's probably one of the best. And this is also another good one right here, where it just does uh, corrosive. Or is this the one I'm thinking of? Either way, oh no, no, because it's a um, Mali one. So real fast before I end this video. Um, Every company has a different advantage. Mali One, you switch between two elements, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but let's say the corrosive and shock, if somebody has shield, the sniper rifle is going to eat through them. If they have armor, the sniper rifle is going to eat through them. And then if it's just health, the sniper rifle is going to eat them. So uh, that's Mali One is good at doing two elements. The only downside is, is the gun doesn't always shoot like a normal gun. Uh, it's one of the things I don't like. Like sometimes it'll do like a stream of bullets, and sometimes it just gets really weird. Mind you, that's more their assault rifles, not always their sniper rifles. Uh, Jacobs don't have a fast fire rate. They fire as fast as you can pull the trigger, and they have uh, extra critical damage that's not always listed. But they also have the added effect, if you critical hit, the bullet will bounce, depending on the quality, several times possibly. Once again, Mally Wan again. Uh, Doll has two fire modes, tri-burst or full auto. Um, pretty sure their sniper rifles are single, uh, semi-automatic or, uh, or auto. Hyperion has that little shield thing to them, and also they tend to be insanely accurate. Uh, COV uh, replaces Bandit from the previous games, and I forget the one that was before that, uh, which I think was just Bandit again. Um, they, their magazine is the whole amount of ammo you have. So if you have 100 bullets plus that would normally be in the magazine, plus 100 bullets on the side, it's 200 bullets. Uh, so you never have to reload these until you run, unless you completely run out of ammo. The only downside is it will overheat and you have to stop shooting. Um, their guns don't tend to do a lot of damage. And uh, they're not always the most accurate, but if, when you're playing a character, you just want to put bullets down range, which there are a few of them, this is a good uh, weapon. Um, COV again, Doll again, uh, Vladov. Vladov switches between uh, regular fire, uh, regular shooting and shooting little rockets that do explosive damage. Explosive damage does not get reduced. No matter what you're hitting, I do not believe it takes reduction in damage. So if you're shooting shields or like, however, uh, the bullets aren't always the most accurate. Especially in 2, it was a lot more obvious. If you shot rocket ammo, you'd say, go, no. So, um, I think that's all. Oh, no, Atlas is back, actually. And Atlas usually has, like, a, a homing function to it. So, you shoot a tracer round onto something, or a tracer peg, and anything caught in it, and then you just start firing, it won't miss. So, think of it like Fifth Element, um, with the replay, with the Zorg's replay button, where, like, no matter, if you hit it once, no matter where you shoot, it goes in. In fact, I think that weapon's actually specifically named in this game, so... Uh, that's a quick rundown of the different companies, which is actually going to play a deal later on when you see me like working out my build. Chances are I'm going to use a lot of Jacobs with this uh, character. Now, once again, if you want to see me play as a different character, let me know. I just went with this one because it was a uh, character I wanted to play as. But that doesn't change for me. So, Anyway, uh, y'all know what's coming up next. Sorry for the rant. Thank you for watching. This has been Jack with the Geek's Perspective. Please like, subscribe, and follow so you'll be notified when future videos come out. And in regards to the coronavirus outbreak, wear a damn mask.